Hey guys, Flip Up the RG here. So today, we're going to be talking about how to earn money and save that money for an American Girl doll. Sorry if my voice sounds weird because I'm sick right now. Number one, get an allowance. So, you can get an allowance by doing chores. So you can talk to your parents about um, how much money you can get and it, like, it depends on what you're doing, how much you're going to get and it depends on how much your parents think you should get. Number two. So for your birthdays, if you get money, then you can easily just save up that money or if you get Christmas money or whatever holiday you celebrate. If you have money for that holiday, you can definitely save that. Number three, you can help your other family. So like, if it's winter time and they need help shoveling their driveway, you can help them shovel the snow um, and maybe you'll get paid for that. Also in the fall, when the leaves on the ground, you can go rake their leaves for them. Number four, you can have a bake sale. Um, you know, these are pretty fun, especially if you love baking. You can make like cupcakes or cookies, and you could even make lemonade like in the summer. But don't make them too expensive. Like I would make them like 50 cents to a dollar each. Number five. You can sell old things. Now, like, we all have old things that we don't use anymore. Like, maybe you have, like, old American Girl dolls. Like, if you have an American Girl doll that you just don't even use anymore, or you have maybe, like, a make Leah doll, or any sort of doll, you can go ahead and sell those. Same with old clothes and toys. If you have old clothes and toys, you can definitely go sell them. And you can put them on like eBay or Amazon. You could also sell them while having like a garage sale. Number six, you can get a job. So, <clears throat> sorry, if you're at the age where you can get a job, definitely go get one because it is a great way to earn money. Now I'm going to tell you how you can save that money. La 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 la. Oh, it's a cute little candle. Oh, and it smells so good. How much is it? It's only $162. I need to get it. Wait. Nope. Gotta save. Gotta save. So what I do is I... Every time, like I said, I get a dollar for unloading the dishwasher. So I put a check mark on that day of the, on the calendar. And at the end of the month, my mom puts it in my, straight into my debit card. The next thing you can do is you can, like, once you get paid and you have the money or you, like, receive the money, you can put it right into a jar and you can label it save. And the last way to save your money is you can put a picture of the doll that you want or the item for American Girl that you want in your wallet and that way when you like you see oh there's a really cute candle I want to buy it you know and then you open up your wallet you're about to grab the money and you see the picture and you're like right I should probably save for that instead of spending all my money and actually there is one more way this basically ties with the last one that I said so like if you see a really cute candle again and you want to buy it think before you buy it do you really need it right now or can you wait until later so that you can finish saving up for your doll i promised myself that i would like 
spend no more money until I get my American Girl doll. So I'm not telling you which one I'm getting, because I'm saving up and you guys will see this summer. So you guys can definitely go like in the comments down below and you can like uh, type in what doll you think I will be getting. And I will give you a hint, it is not the forever. So that is my only hint. So now it has a little bit of a better chance of guessing. So yeah, definitely go um, comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!